welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video. Today I thought I would touch on sort of dealing with an eating disorder around kind of new year. As it's fair to say at this time of year you've got a lot of sort of new diets popping up, extreme workouts, weight loss, fat loss tips seem to be everywhere which can just make it really hard if you're trying to actively recover from an eating disorder and kind of possibly gain weight and kind of do everything opposite to what's being promoted at this time of year. Already you've had Christmas which can be a very challenging time with an eating disorder and now you're being thrown diet culture left, right and centre. So I thought today I would offer a few tips to hopefully help you better sort of deal with it, better prepare for it and get you through this period. Obviously one of the main ways we tend to get information these days is through social media and social media is definitely a blessing and a curse. As with everything, there's pros and cons to it. There are people out there who are genuinely qualified, giving valid nutrition and exercise information and actually being of some use and helping to better educate the population. But then you'll find other people who have found either a method that worked for them or something that they heard randomly from some random person that they barely know and they've taken it to heart and think it's the honest truth. And it can be really hard trying to separate that fact from fiction. And knowing who's more reliable and who's probably more just likely to use generic media and big headlines and eye-catching captions just to get your attention even if the information is not strictly true can be so hard to judge. So firstly I would say when it comes to it, social media, you can unfollow people. If you see people popping up in your timeline and you think, hang on a minute, they actually only make me feel more guilty, they only fuel my eating disorder, they make me feel worse about myself, unfollow them. It's not healthy mentally for you to be following people who are going to influence you like that. If you find as well that your feed is very much filled with recipes, food tips, possibly diet tricks, extreme exercise, again, especially at this point in time when you're actively trying to recover, being surrounded by that kind of information, that kind of environment, is probably the exact opposite of what you need. Again, it'll probably just start fueling your eating disorder. So it might be a good time to just take some time to filter through social media, unfollow anyone who isn't helpful, and kind of reshape your feed. Also another great thing you could do is try to find a hobby sort of outside of nutrition, fitness, and find something that you really love and really love to do in your spare time. And that way, if you find something else that you're really passionate about, you can find other people online who are passionate about it too. You can follow people who love that hobby too. And if you have something else to focus on, it can help to really reshape your feed, take your eyes off of sort of the exercise nutrition side of things, and help to focus on developing that new hobby, developing connections with people who also enjoy that hobby, and just really alter your mindset whenever you go to open social media. Also, as I kind of started briefly touching on before, before you sort of take in all the information that you read and believe in everything that you see, always start by questioning it. Question who they are. Where have they got that information from? Do they have the evidence to back it up? What's the truth behind this information? Can you find other articles backing it up? Can you find scientific journals backing it up? Try to question everything you see without taking it to heart straight away. Look at what qualifications the person has got. Look at if they could be a trusted source. Look at if they are talking about an area that they actually specialize in. Because it's one thing having a qualification that can make you sound really high up and like you should know about everything. But really zoning on what their qualification is in, what information they're actually sharing, and whether it's something that they would actually be properly educated in and know how to interpret the science as well. So you've got to kind of try and take on that sort of scientific mindset a little bit more and analysing everything you see. A large part of media is entertainment. It is produced for entertainment, both social media and the generic sort of mass media as well. It's there to make us want to read articles, it's there to keep us watching, it's there to keep us liking videos and photos that we see. So naturally, people may shape certain things that have come out in science to make them sound like something that they're not. That way they can bring your attention in and they can make an article out of it and they have an audience who are gonna read it. However, always go back to any original study cited, always go back to the person who's written the article or shared the post and always go straight to the source to validate it before you ever even consider taking that advice on board. Also when it comes to both exercise and nutrition, obviously being better educated overall in 
what each of those areas entail is amazing and having a better sort of understanding of the science about how your body works, how to nourish it right, etc. is a great thing to do. However, when it comes to sort of more specific advice that's right for you, don't forget that we are so unique and everything should be tailored to you specifically, to your current life situation and to your goals. So if someone gives out a very specific piece of information online, likelihood is it probably won't work for you in the same way that it worked for them. It may not be healthy for you. It may not be the best approach for you. And generic information won't be tailored specifically to your needs. So again, just be really careful with what you choose to read and what you choose to believe and apply to yourself. Something else that you may find helpful to kind of take your mind off of all these new hacks and tips regarding sort of your weight and exercise, etc., being thrown at you is set yourself some goals, set yourself challenges for the month, set yourself some things that you want to achieve through your Edward recovery during that month. Whether that be challenging certain fear foods, whether that be reducing exercise by a certain amount, if you found yourself sort of over-exercising or becoming addicted to it, of course, work with a professional to find what exactly is right for you and what the target should be for you, and whether you can still exercise, etc. Also, whether your goals may be sort of stopping tracking food, stopping calorie counting, whatever it is that you need to do to help you get out of your ed mindset and out of your little daily habits that you have so ingrained into you because you're so used to doing them now, gradually work on breaking them instead. And then once you've compiled a list, it doesn't even need to be that long, even just make sort of three, four goals that you can very specifically focus on, just take it one step at a time, remind yourself of them regularly, whether that be weekly or even daily if you can. And that way, anytime you see something else come up, you can remind yourself of what you're actually trying to do for you. That way you can discard the information a little bit better and think, actually, that's not relevant to me. I don't need to read that, I don't need to know about that, that's not important to me and my life right now and my goals. So definitely focusing on yourself specifically, on your own goals and where you need to be and what you need to be doing is a great way to go about it. So that's kind of everything that I wanted to touch on this video, it's quite a little short one but I just thought it would hopefully be useful if you are really struggling at this time of year. Of course as I always say if you are going through any kind of eating disorder right now one, recovery is possible, keep pushing through it, you will get there and you're doing amazing. And two, I can't stress enough, seek the help you need, take the help on board. I resisted it and honestly, if I had accepted the help sooner and accepted that there was a problem sooner, I probably would have got out of it a whole lot sooner. So do seek the help of a medical professional who can ensure that what you're doing is right for you, can help you tailor your diet, tailor whatever exercise you're currently doing, to make it healthy for you, allow your body to recover and for you to fully get to a point of recovery where you're both mentally and physically past it. If you have found this video useful though, it'd be great if you could smash a big thumbs up on it as well as be sure to click on the little red subscribe button down below if you are new to my channel. And don't forget there is also that notifications bell too that you can tap on so you get notified whenever I upload. And I'll be sure to see you very soon with a brand new video. Bye!